What's up? What's up? For anyone that's watching the replay, I'm gonna give you a little dance. Oh, I just got a congratulations. This is my 50th broadcast. Wow, surprising myself. Didn't realize I'd done that many. Going to give a few peeps a few seconds just to jump on and then I will get into it. Oh, I've got an eye. Whose eye is that? Say what's up. If, um, let me know who's here. I like to know who I'm talking to. I can tailor tailor my content to specifically. Two eyes. Amazing. I'd love if you could give me a hi let me know who you are because it's, it's not telling me who you are. Announce yourself. Three eyes. Yes. Trudy. Hey, Trudy. Gemma. Hey, girl. Boot camp, babe. Lovely to have you here. Amazing. Tell me how everyone's feeling. First month. First, first of the month. How's everyone feeling? Hey, Karina. All my boot camp babes. Of course you're on here. I love it. Tell me how everyone's feeling um, about their, their first month. We'll wait for some people to jump on. Six, seven. Okay, cool. I'd love if you guys can let me know who's on here so I can kind of... Um, Ashley, another boot camp babe, of course. Hi, darling. Yeah, tell me how everyone is feeling about how last month went, actually. I'd love to hear how you are feeling about the month that's just been. It was obviously a short month. Um, you know, did you achieve the goals that you set out to achieve? Did you... Ah, oh, Trudy, just signed up for No BS Who Cares. Awesome, were you there last night? Did I not meet you? Um, March is going to be a biggie, Beatrice says. Amazing. So I would love anyone who's watching this, because I'm going to cater for the replay as well, to think about how did last month go? Like, through the reflection, we can start to see, you know, how we need to move forward in our new month and what we need to leave behind and what work that we want to bring with us. Um, hey, Caroline. Caroline, I think you're a fellow bridge girl, aren't you? So um, maybe I'll be seeing you in the Gold Coast, which would be cool. Um, February was a challenge, but I feel like I got on top of it and made it work. Amazing. So I'm actually going to get started because we're a couple of minutes in and I can't go for too long today. So I want to give you girls who are here with me, Emma, hi, darling. Um, some value. So what we're going to do is actually, I've pulled a card for you girls. So I pulled a card, I asked for a card for this call and I actually got the friendship card. Um, and at first I was like, hmm, that's kind of a strange one, but then I'm going to read you what it says. And I think it's pretty relevant for all of us, um, especially with, hey Fatima, um, cleared your schedule for this, amazing. Okay, cool, I'm gonna try and not keep talking to you because I love talking to you, but I get distracted. So changes in your friendships are occurring. Be lovingly honest with yourself and your friends right now and appreciate the healing benefits of a true friend. Not only are you changing on the inside, but your life is changing on the outside as well. Among these, among these changes are your relationships with friends. Perhaps you fear that you'll no longer have common interests with old friends, or maybe you wonder if you'll meet new friends with whom you'll share close bonds. Changes in friendships are natural, and the angels ask you to surrender your relationships to them. Know that this know that they will lovingly help all of you during these transitions. This card also signifies that you are ready to receive new friendships with people who mirror your interests and ambitions. I love that card because this is so true and something I see so often is essentially what this is talking about is our environment and our friendships that go through changes and relationships, whether it be intimate relationships or friendships and relationships in general, they're such a crucial, crucial part of our success, our friendships, our relationships and our environment. And I know that there can be a lot of fear involved with people when releasing these, um, especially when we're on this transition in business. Um, people that don't get it, being surrounded by the wrong kinds of people. And when I say wrong, I just mean in terms of aligned or not aligned with our goals. Um, when we're trying to create businesses, not trying, when we are creating businesses, it's so important that we are surrounded by people who get it and are like on the same journey and can inspire you and uplift you and also that you look around and you can get advice and support and really understand, people have be surrounded by people who understand you um, because this can be a, a hard journey and if we're not surrounded by people who can help us, it is even harder. So that one is super key and important and you know exactly why you girls are in this group and why I love it because um, this is a group of high vibing amazing women. So now I want to 
to actually lead you through a little bit of a um, visualization process. So I'm going to ask you to just um, get comfortable. And if you can, if you're able, I'd like you to have a pen and paper handy. Um, so we're not going to spend too long on it because the live stream is quite short. But I'm just going to leave you through a little bit of a process. So if you can just get comfortable and just... Just really in a comfortable position, eyes closed, you know, palms facing upward. It's just kind of a signal of surrender and receiving, just having our palms facing upwards. And just get comfortable, and I'm just going to play a little song, get us in the mood. Hopefully you can hear that, it's on my computer. So I want you to just take a really, really big deep breath in. Breathing it into your diaphragm, and breathing a big breath out through your mouth. And breathing in again, deep breath into your diaphragm and breathing out anything you want to leave with you in February. Breathing in another deep breath in of openness and an energy of possibility, guidance and support. And breathing out anything that is holding you back, any fears, any doubts any resistance. You want you just continue that cycle of breath, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth and just feel like your energy is being renewed. It's being reinvigorated, re-energized. It's bringing in a sense of possibility into this new month, what you can create from this place. I want you to really feel that energy, really feel that energy brewing in your body, that energy of possibility and excitement, of opportunities, of productivity, of joy. How different would your life and your business feel if you could operate from this place? Breathe in that energy of support and trust and flow and breathe out anything that no longer serves you. Just get rid of it. It doesn't belong to you, it doesn't need to be there. Another deep breath in through your nose, really connecting to that energy and breathing out anything that you no longer need. Now I want you to think from this place of possibility and bliss and connection. What do you want to create? Not just in this month, but what do you want to create this year? I want you to fast forward to the end of this year, 2017. How do you want to feel? What have you created in your relationships, in your business? Who have you become in your life? Breathing in and really connecting to that vision. That woman who's sitting there at the end of this year, who is she? She's you, but what has she done this year to really step up? What has she created? What has she moved through and moved past in order to really create this dream, this business, this vision? What has she released? What traits has she cultivated to really create this vision? I want you to breathe in that space and really connect to her. She's strong, she's powerful, she's confident. She's created this vision in her business and she's really, really stepped up and become the woman you've always known that you are inside already right now. And I want you to really just breathe that space in. Breathe in that possibility. Know that that is you. And that is what is waiting for you. Really connect to that energy. That possibility. That faith. See that vision. And now I want you to take one more deep breath in, really connecting to that woman. And then I'm gonna ask you to open your eyes and I want you to just write down, just free write, what you saw, what you felt. I'm gonna give you just a couple of minutes. So now if you just write down, what did you see? You know, what did she believe? 
What did you feel? Just let your pen write. Just let, let what you saw just come through. And how did she feel about the business she'd created? How did she feel about the woman that you are? Just write down anything that came through to you. If there was any specific goals, if there was any specific feelings, just write those down. Let me give you just another 30 seconds. How much money did she have? What did she contribute to those around her? What boundaries did she set? Now, who is she? Okay, cool. I'm going to stop you girls there. Oh, that song is so tranquil. It really gets me in the zone. <laughs> I'll put, if anyone wants that song, um, I'll post it up for you. I really find that that gets me into a really beautiful connected space. Um, so I'd love any comments. How did that feel for you? How did that go? What did you feel? What did you see? Um, I'd love any comments. Just let me know where you're at, how you're feeling. Um, and I'm going to get into a little bit more of the kind of technical side, but I'd love to sort of see how you guys are feeling about that um, before I go on. Some of you are probably in like a bliss state. <laughs> and hey, Fliss, Phoebe and Marnie, Isla. So nice to have you here. Oh, I feel really zen after that. Kind of went there. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'd love to hear in the comments how that went for you. Um, I can't spend, wait sort of too long, obviously, because I want to really give you girls some strategy as well. Um, and also for the girls who are watching the replay. So shoot me through any questions or how that went for you. I'd love to know. Um, so now basically what we want to do and why I want you to, you to do that is really get that emotional connection to that vision and that woman that you already are, but that space that you really want to connect to and actually seeing that vision of what you will create by the end of this year. Because from that vision, what we now need to do is chunk back. So you have that strong vision. Um, amazing, Krina. Uh, so you have that strong vision and for this for the sake of ease on this I'm going to talk about my goal because it's just going to keep things really um, just to give you an actual example like for example my goal is to make 100 grand this year 100k in my business so for me to do that I now need to chunk down obviously we can't set a goal like I want to do this this year and we never look again at what our goal is it's like New Year's resolutions right oh, okay cool yeah I want to do this this year and never look at it again our goal needs to be front of mind all the time and so what really facilitates this is making it super simple so we really want to have simplicity so we can have focus on this main goal that we're trying to create and obviously making a hundred grand that's like the primary goal and that's gonna mean I have to do different things in order to get that so that means I'm probably going to have to speak it means I'm going to have to grow my following it means I'm gonna to have to do all these other things that fit underneath that umbrella of that primary goal so if you can create that primary goal and that really keeps you focused on that simplicity and you always know okay that's where I'm going that's where I'm, I'm moving towards this year in my business so I really encourage you to get really clear on that overarching goal and then you can break down the actions that need to happen um, in order to get you there. So for example, if your goal is, um, so my goal is 100 grand, yours could be you know, a certain amount of orders, a certain amount of events, a certain amount of, I'm trying to think about what your businesses are, um, you know, online sales, growing your social media, whatever it is. So that 100 grand, it needs to be broken down into chunks. So for example, 100 grand means I need to make 50 grand by June which means I need to make 25 grand by March. You know, and obviously that might be different. You're gonna be in momentum, so it might, it's likely that more of that money will come from the second half of the year. Same with you, because we're always growing our business. What up, Malay, my girl? Um, excuse me, I just need to do that sometimes and say hi to people. So breaking it down. So also when you're setting this goal, you want to stretch yourself. So what is a stretch for you? 
you know, what 100 grand is a stretch for me, okay? But I believe it. it has to be that that balance between stretching and believability. So you really need to be having something that excites you and like, oh my God, if I get that, that's going to feel really great because we want to be driven to create these goals and we also want to create goals that are going to force us to step up. Okay, so stretch yourself, but make sure it's believable. If I said to myself, I want to make a million dollars this year, I'm not going to believe that. So I'm not going to be motivated to create that because I don't believe I can do that. I mean, hey, probably could, but um, I'm not going to be really believing that. 100K, I can really believe. And so what is your goal that is realistic, but a stretch? Sorry, not realistic. A stretch, but believable. So find that happy place in between there and in order to set the goal. So then you want to you want to chunk back. So that's the 12-month goal. What do you, Where do you need to be? by you know October where do you need to be by June so where do you need to be by you know now we've got this really great spot we're in March so March April May where do you want to be in May what's the three month goal in order to get that so chunking down when you need to achieve certain things then you can break them down into the month so if you have your three month goal okay cool so what do you need to achieve in March what do you need to achieve in April what do you need to achieve in June and keeping this goal front of mind really staying focused on on this goal and you, you know obviously we're talking about business so obviously talking about money sales orders clients whatever that is in your specific business it's a way of tracking so are you tracking your business this isn't you know super super important you know every day looking at how many sales are coming in where is it going to come from where is the where's my time best spent in order to bring in this money or create this this goal I'm talking about money because we're talking about business so just keeps it simple so setting those milestones um, that you need to achieve from now until then um, so you're really staying focused really moving things forward and you're staying it's front of mind you know if I asked you what is your 12 month goal if it takes you more than like 30 seconds to tell me then it's very likely you're not going to get there because it's not front of mind you shouldn't have to think about what your goal is you should be that's what I want and you know different stages of our business this becomes more and less clear if it's the earlier stages it can be a little harder to actually be really clear on what that goal is because we're figuring it out and maybe you're not in that space of momentum yet maybe it's really having a plan around you know where you're gonna get clients from or where you're gonna get sales maybe that's one of your goals um, so it does get easier the more momentum you have because you can really start to create um, the reliability of where you're going to get sales or money from so you can create goals like that um, and that is another um, thing I want to touch on for example if your goal so my goal is this hundred grand right for this year when you're setting your goals you have to make sure that uh, and this kind of comes into the believability side and, and being not realistic so I don't really like that word but um, God, I can't believe I set this for 20 minutes and thought I'd be able to do this in 20 minutes. Um, yeah, so when you're thinking about your goal, do, does your business, does your business support that goal? So for example, like if I said I want to make a million dollars, I don't have the funnels or the, the audience or the list or anything really right now, except if it was some friggin' miracle, which could happen, but I don't have that kind of system in my business to support a million dollar goal okay hundred grand definitely a million dollars no so when you're thinking about your business and you're thinking about your goal do you have the support within your business to create that goal so like for example I've just done my numbers for March and I actually have the earning capacity I mean like with what I have in place the possibility to earn 41 grand right which is a lot of money for me and my business um, whether I make that or not that's sales that's not money in the bank but you know that is if I said that last month I, I wouldn't because I'm not I don't have programs going I don't have ways that money could come in so you have to be really clear okay if you've got that goal where is it gonna come from you can't just say I want to set this goal and hope that it happens you know what do you need to create in your business in order to enable that goal to uh, come in you know do you need to create a program do you need to create a bundle of products you already have what do you need to do and what do you need to set up to enable that goal to come in 
Okay, so that's super important because that's going to, if we just continuously set ourselves up with these arbitrary goals that we don't believe that aren't based off of our business because we don't have the, the, the system to support the goal, then we're going to be continuously getting disappointed because we're not going to meet our goal. But that's just because we're not being smart in the way that we're actually um, setting our goals and not making a plan. So you really need to look at your business and look at the opportunities you have um, and ask yourself, okay, where in my business can I create that system? Um, so, so looking at that and thinking about, okay, March, you know, thinking about your goal, where do you need to be in June? Where do you need to be in, you know, May, April, March? What do you need to create for this month? Chunk it down and set your goal for March, okay? Because I really want you to all declare your goals in here after this as well. So I'm gonna wrap up in a second. Um, another thing you need to do in order to get to your goals and your life, your business, everything, and like what we touched on in this card for the call is you have to surround yourself with people who are driving, striving, like inspiring you. Like you must be around people that are going to enable this goal to become a reality. Constantly feed your mind with empowering, you know, videos, be at events, be find mentors, find running buddies in in like business running buddies. And you know, that's why you're in this group, which is amazing. But this is so crucial because if you're not constantly being surrounded by people who are like really creating big things in their life, it's going to start to feel like hard work and you're not going to be inspired and you're going to be just, you know, the standard of achievement or the standard of expectation in your life is going to be lower. So, you know, I'm hanging around people who are making million, like goaling to make millions of dollars or make their first million dollar year. So for me, hundred grand just seems like, oh, well, yeah, okay, that's got to happen. If I was hanging around people that wanted to make 50 grand, then I'm going to automatically have a, a lower goal, a lower expectation for what I can achieve. So you must be around people, and I'm not saying it's all about money, but this is just a metric for business. So surround yourself with people who have high goals, standards, and dreams. So, so critical. Find yourself people that you can stay accountable to and that are going to really drive you forward. Um, okay, cool. I've already covered that one. So, like I said, I just wanted to do this really quick goal setting session. So, underneath um, this live stream, I want you to declare, maybe you need to do a little more free writing on that vision, but I want you to, to declare your 12-month goal. And then I want you to declare your three-month goal. Um, sorry, not your three-month goal, your March goal. Um, if you want to break it down to 12, 6, and 3, that would be amazing. But I want at least your 12-month goal for your business and your what you're going to achieve in March. Okay, so let's really, really like smash this out. It's the first of the month. Let's make March like truly incredible. Okay, so 12-month goal and March goal. Um, I am going to, I've got a goal setting sheet that I can um, send through to you. So if you want that, just um, say yes and put your email in there and I'll send it to you. Um, and yeah, let me know if you've got any questions quickly in the chat, then I will answer those for you. Um, but you'd have to be super quick because I'm going to jump off in a second. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, track your numbers. Stay focused on your goal every single day. Get clear on what that 12-month goal is um, and chunk back. Set milestones. Set milestones so you can achieve them and tick them off and, and review, you know. Also review what went well last month and what didn't and what you want to bring in. So if anyone wants to say anything, let me know. Hopefully that was um, helpful. And yeah, otherwise I'm going to jump off. Cool, Fliss. I'll send it to you, honey. Yeah, so if you want that, and I'll put it in the link, and I'll remind you guys in the link. Um, cool. All right, well, I am going to jump off. Um, Gemma, yep, you can. Obviously, I, you know, yours are, um, you're in the boot camp, so you are going hard, but that would be awesome. Put it there. You can't do it too many times, so de declare it, and let's have a little look at what it is. I know it's going to be big and awesome. All right, girls, lots of love. Um, I will see you girls soon. If you want that goal setting um, list, just send it to me, send, get, put your email and I'll send it to you. Um, and also if you want to 
um, join some of these amazing humans who are in the Conscious Boss Bootcamp. If you want to know more about that, we start in April um, where we go deep on this goal setting and vision creating as well. So um, let me know if you want info on that. And I will see you girls soon. Have an amazing March. Oh my God. So exciting. All right. Lots of love, girls.